Hello everyone. In this high yielding shorts, I am going to tell you about MPGN, which is membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis. This is an uh, immune complex mediated disorder, which is associated with persistent hypocomplementemia. Means complement level will be low. Why complement level is low? Due to the nephritic factor antibody. What are these nephritic factor antibodies? They stabilize C3 convertase, which is usually or normally unstable. So they will make them stable and they will activate the complement in the forward direction. And that is why there will be a persistent hypocomplementemia. So who are the nephritic factor antibodies? Three types. C3 nephritic factor, which is seen in MPGN type 2. Remember, C3 is seen in MPGN type 2, which will be associated with alternative complement pathway activation. C4 nephritic factor is associated with MPGN 1, associated with classical and alternative both pathways. Right? Then, uh, this is the uh, nephritic factor for the terminal pathway, which is seen in MPGN type 3, which is a very rare type of MPGN. Right? In this, what we are going to see, MPGN type 1 and MPGN type 2, these are important association. So, MPGN type 1 is associated with autoimmune disorders like SLE, infections like a hepatitis B, C and HIV. And they are commonly associated with the mixed cryoglobulinemia, right? MPGN type 2 is also known as C3 glomerulopathy and they are associated with partial lipodystrophy. MPGN types, if you look at them, all the types will be having same kind of light macroscopic finding that is the hypercellularity, double contour basement membrane, duplication of the basement membrane, tram track appearance or splitting of the basement membrane. All things are same only, right? And this can be due to mesangial cell proliferation where mesangial cell will proliferate and they will come in between the endothelium and the basement membrane. So this interposition of the mesangium between the endothelium and the basement membrane is the name given to the tram track appearance and it is also called as duplication or splitting of the basement membrane or double contour of the basement membrane. These are immune complex mediated disorder. So whenever you are going to see immunofluorescence microscopy, MPGN type 1, they will show granular immunofluorescence. You can see heterogeneous granular appearance is there. Yellow, green granules are present in the capillaries, right? But when we talk about the uh, MPGN type 2, which is also called as C3 glomerulopathy or dense deposit because immune complexes are dense. So you can also see granular deposit here, but they are showing you dense deposit. This is called band pattern of immunofluorescence. So bands of the capillary wall staining is present in this dense immune complex deposit. So both are granular, both are immune complexes because of high uh, quantity of the Immune complex, they are showing you a dense deposits, right? So dense or band pattern of immunofluorescence. On electron microscopy, MPGN type 1 will show you subendothelial uh, deposits and MPGN type 2 or C3 glomerulopathy will be showing you intramembranous deposit. As you can see, gray color deposits are between the basement membrane, right? When you are looking at this subendothelial deposit, you can notice these are the subendothelial deposit and you can notice the basement membrane is looking as if they have been divided into the two part you can see this is the basement membrane uh, looking like as if they have been splitted into the two part because of the Im immune complex deposition between the membrane right so duplication of the basement membrane subendothelial deposit these are seen in more commonly in the mpgn type 2 enjoy learning best